going on guys so uh new video i know i said i was gonna clean the garage in the last video uh i didn't and here's my thoughts i don't have any parts i'm waiting on stuff still the only thing i can work on well in my mind is going to be kind of grinding down these quarters see what they look like at welding a new metal because i don't need any parts for that i have everything i need here so if i'm going to grind and weld and all that i have to clean up anyways so it's like why ever clean up right but uh yeah i think i showed you before so it it's just kind of got a thin layer of filler it's not too crazy it was joined in kind of somewhere here uh it's had a patch put on i'm hoping up here is still pretty solid to keep that nice body line good and actually it looks like it's rust right on the corner so that's good that means metal because plastic can't rust so when i'll kind of get the grind out in that area around there i'm hoping to leave as much as i can uh in certain spots this here probably doesn't show up in camera too well but it just it flaked right off so obviously water got behind it froze peel it all off or something so i'll get all that out let me i'll take the light out see what i got going on down here because it might be a little soft might put some panels in there fix the rocker that's what we're going to do in this video is get this uh, side ready to go and all i'm going to do is fog it in with some uh well, probably some black trim clad because that's what i like so I'll get you up on the tripod we'll get blast in fast motion this will only take like 25 minutes and you guys will see a whole quarter panel done be about 40 hours for me Well, there's a fair amount of filler on there. So the problem is this thing had a quarter put on and I assume it was obviously a quarter off probably another wrecked car or something. Uh, you can see here it's brazed on. So that kind of dates the repair, you know, kind of 70s, 80s, I guess. And I mean, it's lapped together. So no matter what you're going to do, it's not going to be a nice finish. That's how they did it. So you can't give anybody a hard time uh the problem is i mean it's going to require a fair amount of filler but uh i'm not cutting this off and i'm not going to start again so i'm just gonna kind of straighten it out the best i can give it a little bit of hammering and go for it i mean ultimately the wheel arch is not bad because it's obviously uh off the other car or whatever panel and it still has a nice it's all metal so that's good up here right on the line it's all metal so i can kind of i'll go right up to there uh and then I'll just kind of filler it. There is some rot in the back here, which I mean, they all kind of probably do that. I mean, all cars do. So I'll just kind of cut out a little patch, put one in, a few little spots there, one spot there. And otherwise, actually not too bad up here. I thought it'd be all rotted, but it's actually okay. So I'll need to put a patch panel in there. Now, I assume, it's probably two panels. I mean, you can actually see this is where it's brazed. So that's the uh, the quarter where they brazed it on and they actually wrapped it around and brazed it all the way up. So that's not a terrible repair. So I'll probably do that. And then this section here, I'll build it in a couple of pieces, probably one and then two. And then up in here, it's a little rotted as well. So it'll need a repair. And then otherwise, I think this one just had a couple of holes uh, kind of in the middle of that decal. But yeah, so that's a, it's actually not that bad. I mean, hey, it looks rough. Lots of filler and all that, but for being a, a ratty old race car, that's what we're going to do. So we're going to follow suit. I'm going to pull that light out and, uh, you know, just kind of start cutting out a few panels. Pretty simple. Buzz them in, buzz them in, grind them down, and uh, schmoo this thing with filler. I mean, here it's actually quite a, quite a gap, but what are you going to do? the way it goes I mean, if you really wanted to make it nice you put a new quarter on but uh i'm not doing that i like the way it is looks good it's too bad it's too bad the paint actually all fell off and stuff like that 
because really, I mean, it's very livable. And for all I know, that had filler jammed in it back in the 80s or 70s when this was done, right? So, But I'll do a little bit more grinding. I'll wheel the welder over, start cutting out some panels. I'll do a little bit of metal fab now. This was a... Uh... Grinding filler sucks, guys. It really does. Uh, okay, well here we go, not my finest work, but uh, it's a panel, just kind of roll it over the tire so it kind of had the contour, and I made sure there's a body line that goes down here and all the way across, so I made sure I left that body line, because those are hard to recreate and you end up doing filler, so this is just a nice little curve, so I got to go back in and weld the whole way around. I think tonight what I want to do is get all the patch panels in, because that's kind of boring, and... Uh, so I'll start focusing on this front stuff next. It's really it's not that bad. That back one was a was a big one, well, big-ish one, I guess. We're going to call it there, and uh, yeah, it could have been worse. The problem is, I mean, I don't know if you guys saw, everything just ends up packing behind it. It rusts from the the back side out. So I guess it's just Swiss cheese. You start to grind on it, it would just be ugly. So yeah, same thing with the sill. 99% chance the sill just gets packed full of junk or whatever it is and the moisture holds in there and it rusts from the inside out. So I'll do a little slicing and dicing. Well, a few more panels in there. And then uh, we're going for dinner tonight. That's my birthday. So Danny's taking me out. So hopefully I can get that all kind of tackled it in. And then tomorrow I can go full bore, weld it, grind it, and start filling it. A couple patches kind of welded in and ground down just a little bit i uh, still got lots of welding to do around it same at the back a few of those around and uh i don't have much welding gas so that's why i was just kind of tacking it in there i'll uh i don't know i'll probably go hard at it and then fill up the bottle tomorrow maybe we'll see but uh that's where we're gonna end tonight we'll go have a shower we'll head out for dinner right away but uh yeah i don't know it'll all be good metal there was a lot of junk for sure in the back of that quarter panel kind of pulling it all out so the metal is a little bit thin for sure but uh, at the end of the day hey it's not going to see any more uh you know shitty roads or anything like that uh being driven in the summer and whatnot so i think it'll be just fine and we're trying to keep it as a vibe of a ratty old race car so that's what they would have done right so yeah i think it's pretty good uh i'm gonna pull these those little stickers off see how bad it is there i'm hoping i just kind of weld them up a little bit and then shmoo it with some filler and kind of carry on if i mean if this is going to be a perfected uh, car you'd put a uh, quarter panel on but it's just where's it going to end you put a quarter on well you should put a full quarter on and now now you're taking the uh, vinyl off well that's going to be a whole other can of worms i mean the car is what it is it'll be a fun uh, ratty driver and that's the plan but uh, that's it for tonight be back at her tomorrow come on guys since that's been uh well, I guess a couple of days. So I did a little more work on this. Uh, I weld the panels in and ground them all down. As you can see, got inside the door and whatnot. This I just uh, ended up lapping over it because the carpet and uh, the sill plate's going to cover all that. It's all nice up in there. I'm happy with it. So yeah, 
I uh, got a gallon of body filler because I'm going to use it all. So I'm going to schmoo a bunch on there. I'll take a deck lid off. I'm going to pull the uh, marker light out. Uh, I borrowed my old man's port power. I think he might actually come over. And we're going to try and uh, fix that up real nice like. I don't know. I think I might just kind of bang it out a little bit. You know, make it as good as I can. Put a little bit of filler down there. Maybe you can just leave it kind of ragged and beat because it is what it is right you guys seem to like the scars on it and i kind of do as well so that's the plan for now smooth that up i'll kind of give her a quick uh quick coat see if mer's coming over and then we'll uh eh, see where we end up i don't know if this door's an open very well if, th if there was any in the the rocker and stuff i gotta fix but uh yeah i don't know should be a fun night that's kind of cool rained a little bit so i'm not sweating i'm pretty stoked but yeah, we'll get this going. I'll uh, bring it back once again. Got a couple of coats on it. All right, first coat of filler is on. So, it's got a lot of sanding to do. Unfortunately, there's going to be a fair bit in this section here because the uh, panels were lapped on top of each other. So, to smooth that out, I haven't done too much down here. I still got to sand through a little bit. The wheel arch, it'll be pretty good because that's all the factory panel. I'll sand it right down to the metal. And then, not bad up here should be good but Murr came by and we're gonna try and uh stretch this thing into a four door so i think we're gonna be a little bit of hammering with the port power and see if we can knock that quarter panel out i'll set the tripod up and we'll uh you guys can judge someone for sure is screaming at the keyboard right now that we're doing it wrong already All right, well, we used uh, every little piece and part in Murr's port of power A lot of you guys won't notice, Murr interned with Boyd Coddington many years ago. <laughs> you can probably tell by the work we did. So, we got it close. There's a few little kinks and ripples. I'll still kind of body worked out a little bit, maybe hammer and dolly. I'm thinking what I'm going to do is just body work from this line down, because it's so bad, and leave it kind of scarred up and beat up on the top, because I'm not going to touch that quarter on the top. I'm not going to touch this, and the deck lid also is all beat up. So, let me know what you think of that. Also, it's way faster and easier. But thanks, Mer. Look at that. He's going to come and polish it. He said he'll be able to bring this paint back, he said, to original. So, once I finish schmooing this side, a couple days, it'll be all polished up and just, like, used. But Mer's done. I'm going to go back to sanding. And, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Yeah, that door's that's stuck. Feels like it's locked. Uh, well, I've been working pretty hard at it. It's now nighttime. It's probably about 11 o'clock or something, but uh, so I got this side pretty much roughed in. I'm kind of 80 grit, which I'm happy with, so I got to do in the jam a little bit more by hand, but that's that's lame and boring. I'm gonna need a little more filler just right there, but I think I'll be not bad. So I got to hit it a few more times. The more I hit it, obviously, uh, the more the back metal and stuff will come out, but uh. It'll be good enough. <clears throat> I'm going to just kind of, you know, shoot it up until this line. Just kind of go gently over, then that'll all polish off. Into the uh, sill a little bit. Take out the stickers. The other side, start working a little bit by uh, grinding it. Just getting all the junk off. But uh, this side, because it was broken off 
it was really rusty. So I'm going to hit it some more, but I think I'm going to spray on some of that uh, rust converter stuff tomorrow. But I don't have any, so i got to go get some. So I'll do that, and then this one won't be too bad, so I'll just schmuck it, hit it real uh, quick there, sand it. i got to do a little bit of hammer work there, but I might just kind of leave it. I mean, it's all beat up, and it is what it is. And then uh, this side, the door's buggered. Uh, it's got this hole here. But it stops, uh, it just wraps over. It's not in the, well, they're a little jammed, the corner. So it actually won't be too bad of a repair, but unfortunately it looks like it's pretty shitty up to there. So I'll probably have to do a fairly large patch. But yeah, take some more stickers off. And then I'll do that tomorrow. So tomorrow's gonna be a big day of sanding and stuff like that. But yeah, the old port power did a pretty good job. So once I do that, then we're all uh, kind of dialed in. Then it's just trunk work, but I mean, whatever. I'll do that when I uh, don't feel so lazy. Yeah, I'm pretty stoked on that. So that's what I'm leaving for tonight. I'll be back at it tomorrow. Like I said, I gotta get primer, rust converter, and I wanna get this thing in uh, some sort of trim clad black. So it all looks kinda like one car, but I'm digging it. What's going on, guys? Next day. I do a little bit of work, haven't really been filming because it's kind of tedious and boring. But I got this side in primer, so the wheel arch kind of has a little, you know, whatever you want to call it. We'll call it a whoop to do That still needs kind of cleaned up, uh, make it look a little nicer. But overall, I'm happy with it. Uh, I just did it, I think, in 180. So I'll probably hit it again with some 320, flatten it out a little bit, sharpen up that uh, body line just so it matches the whole way around. Then I'm just going to paint it with a rattle can and some shiny black. Let that set up. Then I'll probably go around and chip it and scuff up spart, uh, you know, little uh, parts here and there around the wheel arch and everything. Make it look shitty. And then my old man's going to come by when he polishes the whole thing. Hopefully it'll just blend in nicely. The other side, uh, I did a little bit of work this morning. I was working on the, uh, the rocker. I put some gobs of filler on there ran out of welding gas halfway through so i guess i'm done i was using my crappy little flux welder this side i bought this i don't know rust killer rust inhibiting primer canadian tire had it so i just kind of sprayed that on the metal i'm gonna hammer and dolly it just a little bit make it a little bit nicer same thing schmoo with filler this side's not actually as bad as the other side it's a lot straighter and stuff there's a couple of little smacks right there obviously where that dent was and but i'm gonna leave that i think all up in there i'll body work here a little bit and then do it uh, give it the same treatment as some black and carry on and i'll probably stop at the rocker because there's actually a hole you can see where i have it clamped that's through the rocker so there's a big hole there but yeah that's the plan for now anyway it's got a little this kind of primer set up a little bit in the meantime maybe it'll sweep up see what happens or I'll go in and relax for a bit, we'll see. But yeah, I'll be back at her. So I started cleaning up the old garage, pushed the hot rod out. Uh, I actually ended up putting a coat of black paint on just because it was hard to see the lines in the primer, it flattened out so much. So put the shiny black paint on, it looks terrible. But uh, now I can get that wheel arch all kind of dialed away, but uh, let that harden up real nice. And I smucked a bunch of filler on this side. So it's ready to be sanded off, well, hopefully. But what I'm thinking is I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to finish the other side and move the 57. So I'm going to put the Challenger there because I actually got uh, got a bunch of parts now for the 57. So I can get back on that and take a little break for body work because I hate it. But uh, so I'm going to suck that over, body work to one side, you know, get it in 180. I think it's probably the other side in 180 or 120. It's pretty rough still. But uh, at least it all kind of looks like a one color and the car doesn't look quite so ratty. Uh, so I'll get that over, sand that. I'm going to do it outside. Just so dusty in here. If I work outside, it's actually not a bad day out. Get that dialed away, put some paint on it, then I can kind of wash it all off. And put the 57 in, because I actually got a bunch of parts. So maybe I'll show you that. All the parts I got that we're going to work on for the 57 video next. But yeah, it's pretty good. So I'll get a little more cleaning, a little more sanding, and we'll uh, finish this sucker up.
All right. So we're at the car outside. It was an absolute nightmare. This thing clearly has a spool in it, so it didn't want to turn so well. The winch operator was <laughs> But uh, I was going to start sanding it, but you know what? I'll get that done on my own time type thing. Otherwise, we'll be back and forth 85 times to some primer. One thing I wanted to show here, this is, what I, this is actually the reason I really want to uh, be done. So like I was saying, uh, Queen City Performance, they send over a set of mufflers and a set of uh, electric cutouts. So I want to do something fun. Bodywork sucks. I'll get her done at some point in between stuff. But uh, I'm gonna pull a 57 in. We're gonna start a new video. I got the floor brace. The carpet is in it, just in the box. So we can start doing that. I'm hoping to get the seats in another couple of days from uh, Pigtown. So Danny's gonna do the interior. I think she doesn't know that yet, but that's the plan. So I'm gonna bring it in, weld in the brace, finish seam sealing, undercoating. I'm 100% done. Change the exhaust over for mufflers. Lay out the carpet, and hopefully by the time that's done, we'll bolt the seats in, and uh, Danny can put her little touch and detail the interior up real nice-like, and that'll be in the next video. So that's a little teaser of what's happening. Otherwise, yeah, let me know what you think. Leave a comment about the Challenger. If you like it or hate it, man, you Dodge guys know your stuff <laughs> a lot better than I know it, and that's fine. And we'll start working on the giveaway 57. So 57,000 subscribers, we're giving it away. Subscribe to the channel, tell your friends. See you guys in the next video. Why well, you gotta film this? Is this a bonus feature? For $14.99. You can find it later on his OnlyFans. Are there dudes on that? <laughs> I don't know. Boosted, let me know. <laughs>